Welcome to a very special vlog. I'm back with Rory Barron and uh, we're down hunting fireflies down yeah. at Burley. So it's pretty exciting. We're really hoping they come out. If they don't, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't, the plan is to do some nighttime woodland photography, we hope, as well. Woodland, Maybe. woodland photography on a very steep slope with lots of boulders and try not to kill ourselves. Yeah. Because there yeah. are kind of fairly large holes <laughs> down yeah, true. through the rocks as well. Which is making setting tripods up very, very challenging. Seriously, exactly wherever I go to put my tripod, exactly where there's a hole. So, yeah. Um, All right. It's going to be fun. I really, really hope they come out. I've never actually seen fireflies no, before, have you? I, no, I've never seen them, let alone shot them. So it's going to be quite a, a challenge it, if they do show up. Yeah, yeah. I've been reading up on it. Uh, if they do, I'll talk you through some uh, techniques and see how they work out. just trying to get myself all set up here um, and prepared in the hopes that there's going to be fireflies looking at this particular tree. Now I'll show you um, through the, the lens what I've got here is these two beautiful trees like look at this arching over all twisty and gnarly but they need some fireflies they really do otherwise Probably coming down here in the morning with some early morning light coming through the trees would be really nice. Um, yeah, I'd like to see how we go. Now make sure you head over to Rory's channel and check out what he gets. He's, uh, I think he's going to get some really awesome stuff. He's very studiously getting some B-roll at the moment. And I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. My legs are sore, uh, balancing on the rocks, uh, not seeing what we were doing because we had to keep everything dark. So we couldn't use lights while the fireflies were there, otherwise they get freaked out. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's, it was a real challenge. It was difficult. Yeah. Uh, you had the added difficulty of uh, it mo your composition moving and you not having focus. Yeah, so it got dark and my composition wasn't set, so in the darkness I had to adjust my composition um, and without using torches and lights to see what I was composing so that was definitely a challenge. Upon that my vlog camera decided to fall over onto a rock, thankfully it's okay, <laughs> don't tell my wife, uh, but yeah so that's okay, <laughs> it's all fine, I promise, but um, that also made it a challenge that I had to move cameras around in the darkness and that meant my composition wasn't ideal. What else was the challenge apart from? Oh, just the fireflies themselves. There weren't that many of them right yeah. where we were. There was quite a lot in the kind of surrounding forest, but um, yeah, you just yeah. only had a few come over. And given that both of us, this is something new, we were kind of trying out our, our yeah. uh, all our settings and things. And yep. I think by the time we actually got it right, they'd gone. They yeah. weren't even around for an hour, I don't know. Half an hour to 45 minutes, Probably max. Nice. Yeah. yeah, and then they kept like, like I mentioned earlier in the video, they were kind of off deeper into the woods, uh, so didn't come out to where we were, and we already had our composition set, so didn't want to change that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, for me, uh, it's going to be a bit of work. I have to blend the images in and see if I get anything. Um, I don't even know if I'm happy with the composition yet. So I'll probably be one image. Let me know what you think, and then head over to Lisa's channel, have a look. She's going to get better shots again. We know that's a trend. So go and check him out uh, and see what she got. Make sure you head over to Rory's channel. Check all his stuff out. 
if you're yeah. watching on mine. And if you're not watching on mine, come over to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> Go and check out her channel. <laughs> subscribe and watch the video from start to end. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, on comment. Both, on both of them. <laughs> that would be awesome. Okay, so before I go and show you the photo, I just thought I'd run through a few tips of things that I learned in the process because it was something completely new to me and it certainly wasn't the easiest form of photography I've ever done. So the first thing I would say is do your research and if possible, shoot the fireflies on more than one night because you're sure to learn something the first night. It will make it a lot easier the second. We were in a spot that was towards the edge of the forest and I think because of that, we didn't get as many fireflies as if we'd been a bit further in. Now you wanna set up and get your shot and composition while there's still daylight. It's really hard to get focus when it's dark as Rory, I'm sure, will be able to attest. Now in terms of actually taking photos of the fireflies, you don't want just a single photo of the firefly, you want to take a whole series of images and then blend them together in Photoshop so that you've got an abundance of fireflies in your shot rather than just a couple here and there. So firstly, you want to take a base image that's your composition uh, as the background. Now, this obviously doesn't want to be too bright because you want it to look like it's nighttime, but you still want to see detail. You want to see some trees or rocks or whatever it is that's kind of your subject in the forest. Once you've done that, you then want to take a series of photos of the fireflies. Now, I found for myself that about five seconds at f3.5 and ISO 1600 seem to be quite good. You want the fireflies to be nice and bright, but you want the background to actually be really dark because it makes it a lot easier when you start stacking them and blending them in Photoshop if you don't have too much detail there in the background. Okay, another tip is make sure you know your camera well. It can be really easy um, with the fireflies to put on a time-lapse interval timer and just let your camera keep taking them. Now, I thought I knew how to do this really easily and I didn't and I ended up wasting a bit of time fluffing around trying to work out how that did. Now, I should have just let it go and just kept firing off by hand because as it turned out, we only had the fireflies for about 15 minutes. Now, I don't know if that's normal or whether they all went away because these fishermen went past that had this absolute like floodlight. It, it was brighter than day it seemed like when he went past and so it wasn't long after that that they all started disappearing. Now of course have a really good tripod, nice sturdy tripod and um, a cable release if you can. I would also highly recommend eliminating the sky from your composition if you can. It's pretty easy, even at dusk, that the sky ends up being really, really bright and draws the eye away from your main subject and the fireflies themselves. Now that's probably about it for my tips. The editing of the photos is a whole nother topic. It, uh, it was quite a bit of effort and yeah, certainly not the easiest photography in the world. But I, yeah, I think it's time that we actually go and have a look at the final photo. So much it was awesome uh, good good challenge it was good i learned a lot the beer beforehand was nice and relaxed so. the, the beer i think the beer helped me bounce better on the rocks because oh, i didn't fall definitely yeah yeah there was no yeah. there were no injuries so it's yeah. obviously what needs to go done before <laughs> every photo shoot for every hike take a guinness <laughs> sponsor me <laughs> cool all right thank you uh, thanks let's go see you later bye guys nice